We here at the Child Mind Institute are focused on providing evidence-based care to children with mental health difficulties. Um, and with the uh, starting of our summer program here, that keeps us on track with that. What the summer program, what we aim to do with the program is really help children maintain the gains that they've been achieving over the course of the school year. Um, and so when school ends in June, we have them with us in July. We pride any boosters or additional support in August um, so that they're ready uh, to then begin the year again in September. So we really want to make sure that children are getting as much support as they need for their behavioral learning and social difficulties. Thank you, Mandy. And Michelle, do you have anything to add to that? Sure. I think a big part of any work we do with children is parent support as well. And so our summer program also is going to offer a weekly parent training um, where for 90 minutes a week, we're actually going to be going over the skills that we're teaching these kids every day so that they can reinforce the behaviors at home. Um, we actually invite all caregivers to participate in those trainings. Um, so grandparents, nannies, aunts, uncles, because we know that the more caregivers involved in a child's treatment, aware of how to best support them, the better the outcomes. And so that's a really important important piece of the training. And we actually are going to offer ongoing parent training and school consultation to even involve teachers after the program's over. That sounds what do you tell the parent that is using a reinforcement that's negative, really? You're going to have time out if you do that again. So, um, you know, what you're talking about, timeouts or punishment techniques, they are certainly part of the intervention strategy, uh, but we like to think about intervention for behavior as kind of a pyramid. Um, and at the bottom, or the bigger part, the foundation, is the positive behavior support skills. And at the top is really consequences or removal of privileges, which is time out or, you know, losing access to field trips. So it's definitely part of the picture, but we often encourage families to think of it as like the salt on the meal. Use it sparingly. It's definitely a part of it, but it's not the main course, right? So with positive behavior support, we want to be talking to that parent, coaching that parent in thinking about how to catch the child being good when they're doing what we call the positive opposite of the behavior. So she's really changing her focus or using her, what we say, our, her behavior binoculars on the positive behaviors and the good behaviors rather than necessarily on the negative ones because what we focus on is what is actually the behaviors that happen more. So we want to kind of shift the focus as really the first step. Yeah, and I think, you know, every family comes to us asking questions about kind of what to do in those worst case scenarios, right, when things are feeling really out of control and overwhelming and stressful. Um, and we really emphasize prevention, right? What can we do with positive reinforcement to prevent it from even kind of getting to that place of, of feeling unsafe or feeling like the only thing that's going to work is a, is a threat or a timeout? Um, so there are, you know, certain situations if behaviors are unsafe where we will use strategies um, like removal of privileges or timeout, but like Dr. Silverman said, sparingly, and that we really want to focus on prevention.